Okay, Mohammed. This stuff has a very eerie blue tinge to it. Wasn't expecting that. I wonder if that's some type of contamination or just deliquescence. It may just be deliquescence. Just wanted to show you the frills. I'm going to go ahead and start the process of mixing this with water and the other secret ingredient. Okay. So I got a burner set up here. We are going to dissolve the materials so that we get a very thorough mix. Alright, we're completely dissolved. I have quite a bit in here. A couple of thousand grams easy. Alright, I think I might have overdid it a little bit there. Man. Jeez. You would not believe the ammonia coming off of that. That's probably about pure material there. I put quite a bit in there. I would say there's not much water left in that. Especially seeing as how it just kind of continues to boil with no heat. Typically with water, the very second you remove the heat, you lose bubbles. And this is just going and going. Not to mention the fumes are so putrid they'll knock you over. Okay. It's like two weeks later, I'm still boiling. Oh, well, that explains it. That ain't water. Still screaming hot. So that's all the stuff right there. There is no way there's any water left in that at no 300 degrees. Even chemically bound water usually falls off at 300 degrees or so. Very interesting color. Okay, so there it is. There's your gold. So it's ironic this stuff's actually gold in color. Isn't that kind of weird? It's very valuable, so the color's suitable. <clears throat> and off this stuff is incredible. These are some flat out crystals, man. Some needle crystals, check that out. All right, so between these two piles here, this was 500 grams total. I'm gonna do the first crucible. And I've got somewhat of an inventory here. Slowly coming up the temperature. This thing stinks bad. I went ahead and shut it off. It appears to be boiling in there. I saw the lid shaking around. Oh yeah. It's oozing out of there on me. So I should probably go with a lot less. Alright, it pretty much oozed out all over. <laughs> Damn it. Kind of hovering right around 550. A lot less smoke now. I may be burning some of this up because of the turbulence in the burner. Because this isn't an electric kiln, there's going to be some turbulence. And that worries me. Yeah, this is pretty slow going, Muhammad. We're not getting a much per batch. This is like three cooks. I end up with very little left over. I worry too much of it's just getting burnt up. This is the, the stuff that I tried to boil all the water out of before I put it in the crucible. I didn't want to put a crucible full of liquid in that, that foundry. The water was just to mix the ingredients together thoroughly. And I wanted to get the water back out of it before I uh, did anything with it. So I think we're just burning up way too much of it for no reason. I think it is literally combusting. I tell you what, let's do a little test here. 
See if this stuff will burn with some air. Well, you know. I can't say that I'd call that burnable. Yeah, actually it is kind of slowly burning away. So if I'm getting oxygen leaking in here, there's a chance. I don't know, I'm just not so sure about this. It doesn't look crystally anymore like this stuff here was made under a bit different circumstances it looks like it's a lot more special perhaps it's just not fully cooked and we're just seeing these crystals here this is a lot stiffer as well whereas this crumbles completely very ashy stuff So, I don't know, I'm on the fence. I don't know if we're going to need to actually get an electric kiln in the mix here. I do have the stuff to do that, but um, that'd just be more time on our hands we'd have to spend. So, Okay, I want to show you how much fumes are liberated during this process. Um, the guy that we've seen who is showing how this is made is doing this like in his shop apparently so I'm not he doesn't actually show us the process taking place but I'm I'm getting quite a bit of fumes here um it's very late at night I've got a lot of strange contraptions around here and stuff going on in the middle of the night with a smoking cauldron that smells like ammonia in a rural area so I'm taking one for the team here for you brother if I disappear um, I would contact the DEA and let them know what's really going on.